Well, they are the main source of power for e-bikes, e-scooters, and many household appliances. But lithium-ion batteries have become the number one cause of fire deaths in Vancouver. And after two more fires this week, officials are once again sounding the alarm. CTV's Kevin Chirac has more on the risk and what you can do to prevent tragedy. As the electric revolution gains momentum, so too has a disturbing trend. We've had over 20 plus lithium ion battery fires in 2022, and five of those have been fire deaths. So, I mean, that's that's a huge, huge number. Dave Mears of Vancouver Fire and Rescue says the fires can spread fast, and that's not all. The process happens called thermal runaway where they have they start a, an explosive fire and they actually release a lot of toxic gases. He says fires are rare when lithium batteries are stored and used properly, but they do start fires when they've been manipulated. More powerful battery into the less powerful bike. A quick search on YouTube brings up a seemingly endless array of videos on how to get more power or speed out of virtually any lithium powered device. Don't tamper with it or modify it in any way. Usually the e-bike batteries are, are made up of that. This battery store owner says a typical e-bike fits 40 to 60 of these batteries. It's called an 18650. And has noticed a glaring issue in quality control. An awful lot of uncertified batteries coming to the marketplace. His advice, even if you save some cash, it's not worth the risk. Buy it from a reputable dealer. Vancouver Fire and Rescue also advised to only use batteries and chargers designed for the device. Do not modify the batteries. Make sure to store them away from anything that can catch fire and keep them at room temperature. With most of the fires occurring at SROs, Vancouver Fire is launching an awareness campaign and could possibly push for changes to the fire code. That's something that we could, could say is like, you know, these all have to be charged outside or in a secure area. It's a problem occurring all over North America, and he believes a solution may be more regulation and oversight. Until then, the focus remains education. Kevin Chirac, CTV News, Vancouver.